The largest part yet made of Britain's new aircraft carrier is heading to sea tonight. Block 3 is part of HMS Queen Elizabeth's hull. It's on its way to Rosyth for final assembly. But it's starting that journey in Glasgow, as Will Inglis reports. The largest part of HMS Queen Elizabeth yet made heads down the Clyde and out to sea. Ahead of it, a trip around the north of Scotland to Rosyth, where it will eventually become the backbone of the completed ship. It's a hugely significant moment for any dockyard when a ship leaves for the first time. HMS Queen Elizabeth, though, faces an uncertain future. At the moment, government policy is that she'll be mothballed because she won't be compatible with the Joint Strike Fighter. That's because Britain's not buying the hovering version of the Joint Strike Fighter, but the cheaper and more capable carrier variant. That needs catapults to launch and arrestor wires to land. Work's underway on how to fit that equipment to the Queen Elizabeth class ships. We're having to take uh, a very high end technology, electromagnetic catapults, and integrate it into a full electric propulsion ship with all the issues around design and redesign. Uh, so it's going to be a significant challenge. But this ship's now too near completion for that to be fitted before she's finished. We're building it to the original specification. And like I say, when the Ministry of Defence decides what does it want to do for a cats and traps, then we'll adjust the programme accordingly. It all means this ship will be delivered to the Navy incomplete and will have to be cut apart to have the equipment fitted at untold cost, on top of the estimated £6.2 billion already being spent. Will Inglis, Forces News, Glasgow.